what's up what's up so my first ever video recording of raid shadow legends and i'm just going to start out saying that i am random completely random uh, i'm not going to probably make a whole lot of sense reason i'm making these kind of videos is i'm just lost and i i'm lost i'm sure there's other people lost for the same reason i am um, so, trying to get a clan boss team together, and I'm not doing a very good job. And the gear and everything just drives me nuts. So, Hell Hades made a video a while back when he took over my account. Um, he got me to Nightmare, I think 2 key, maybe it was 3 key. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look. Um, but, he got me a good team at the time. And then I screwed it up. I completely messed it up. So this is the nightmare team that he originally had for me. And they were all in lifesteal gear. I had Hycatoon and then Razin. Hycatoon was in speed gear. Razin not speed gear. Hygatoon was in uh, lifestyle gear. Razzin was in lifestyle gear. Longbeard was in lifestyle gear. Uh, Lightsworn was in lifestyle gear. And then I had a cult brawler in lifestyle gear. So this was my team. They were all in lifestyle gear. I could get 25 million easily. Um, now what I did is I took Hygatoon into a more of like a arena build even though I hate arena I can't stay in that place um, and I took her out of lifesteal gear so I've got a decent set I've got decent accuracy her decreased turn meter usually lands on the teams that I'm going to fight um, both PvE and PvP both arena and dungeons Decent accuracy, pretty okay speed, like defense and all that I think is good. See, I don't know. It's our part. Um, but then I also took Razin out of his lifesteal gear because I was under the impression from somebody that Toxic Set would be okay on a Razin. It has not worked out well. Um, Stats are okay, his accuracy is decent, speed is okay, I think that could probably be messed around with, I don't know. Um, defense and all that I think is okay. Crit rate, of course, should probably be 100, but whatever. And then, who else I think? Yeah, Colt Brawler is mostly in the gear he had, I think. His accuracy is kind of crap right now. Speed is eh. Crit rate obviously is low. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think crit rate is a big deal on a Colt Brawler um, because he's just landing poisons. Maybe they can crit. I don't think so. I've never seen him crit, even though I've other champions I've had that have more crit rate. So I had a Colt Brawler, Longbeard too. Longbeard is still in his lifesteal set. I stole a lot of his gear for somebody else, but. His accuracy is tanked. Tanked horrible. I don't know why I've got a defense chest on him. Let's see if I can get one with crit rate and stuff. I like Warp Maid in the way she is, but her gear isn't all that grand either. Um, let's see. Anyway, I'm not in here to try to act like I know what I'm doing. Who else did I have that was on my team? I already forgot.
another random thing to bitch about while I'm in here is I wish you could see not only all these skills and masteries and all this while you're in the vault, but I wish you could see who the hell they were. I mean, I know who Romeo is. Romero? Romeo? Whatever. So I know a few of these names, but really, really wish that you could kind of see more who they are, sort it better, sort it by name, sort it by something that I could actually figure out who's who. So, Lightsorn is still in his uh, lifesteal gear, I think. Yeah. He needs a little more accuracy for Ultra Nightmare. He does okay for Nightmare, I think. But So, the confusing thing for me always is who in the heck to bring and not overlap abilities. So I think what we had when Hell Hades was doing it was Razin, the main thing he was doing was decrease defense. And he, he can usually keep that going pretty well. Uh, Longbeard for his weaken is meh. Plus Razin's will overwrite it. Um, this to lay more poisons. Attacks one enemy with four allies, increases the damage inflicted by 20%. So that is very nice. Very nice. Um, and who else do I have on in there? And High Katoon, obviously, for the speed. Now, I boosted up the speed and the accuracy with the gear that I've got on her. But. Now she's not in lifesteal gear, so she doesn't live very long. Some of these I can't afford right now to upgrade. Yay, look how much I've got. So now, I'm trying to figure out who do I really bring. I think I probably have to go back to lifesteal gear. And the reason I took myself out of lifesteal gear is I thought that... Uh, where are you at? Grush was going to be able to use his leech and keep my butt alive um, not just by himself but I thought I don't know I don't remember what all teams I've tried I think I've tried Hikatoon thinking that he could maybe do his poisons with toxic gear I left him in there with just toxic gear I took out a cult brawler and I think I had I wanted Grush to go first after High Katoon. So I did that. And then Grush. So High Katoon speeds up. Grush puts his leech. And then Razin could keep going with the leech. But the leech doesn't stay on. Plus, I've got overlapping abilities decrease attack, 60% de decrease attack. Nope. 60% chance of placing a decrease attack. Which wouldn't be a big deal if the AI wasn't in moronic. Because that overlaps with this. And that places it. It's a three turn cooldown. So with his masteries, usually it stays up there. But. So yeah, these are all. I'm going to have to close this game out when I try this, but, eh, go away. Okay. Don't know if you saw that, but I had a Windows Defender thing pop up. So that's where I struggle. I've got all these great champions, but overlapping abilities. He is great. He usually stays alive because I have good lifesteal gear. I have really good gear on him. Very high accuracy. Very decent defense. Crit rate is obviously jack nothing. But um, not too worried about that, I don't think. Probably another one where I should probably have crit rate on him. But I want him for the 
increased defense so that helps keep people alive plus he has an aura of increased defense by 10% of his defense which is pretty dang decent at 5,000 so I, I love having him in there because he can stay alive but he also has an overlapping decrease attack ability um, provoke is obviously not going to land on the clan boss decrease attack is great except that you know he's not the only one who does it um, Creela is supposed to be great but I don't have her booked so I don't bother with her her masters are done but and her artifacts are his, her gear is junk so like really junk I still got a four star nasty so then who else could it bring for decrease attack she's great she's tough that almost always lands and the increase attack is nice her gear is pretty decent again no lifesteal gear though which I don't know that you'd want her in lifesteal gear but um, yeah so I don't know um, like I said I'm rambling rambling about just random stuff I brought Tayrell up because I thought yay you know he can put uh, decrease attack buff and he could do the de decrease defense of course the sleep uh, if he's under decrease attack won't land on the clan boss so that's wasted and he can't do turn meter it's also wasted I've even tried Royal Guard in there. Decent accuracy. Crit rate is. My math isn't quick enough, but it's overkill, but it, it's good. His defense is junk, so he can't stay alive without a healer. And I don't have any decent healers except for a few that I'll go and look at here in a second. But I wanted the decreased defense. And I didn't know if it would be a big thing, but. Uh, Max HP hit. Thought that would be nice. Not so much. I've tried Frozen Banshee. I can't keep her poison sensitivity up every time for three turns. So then her poison doesn't land. So then she's worthless. I've even got the mastery that should help extend and they do once in a while wouldn't be a big deal if the AI would actually work right and if poison sensitivity isn't on then you don't do this instead you do attacks one enemy fills the turn meters of all allies by two percent for each debuff on the target that would be great if AI would say okay frostblight didn't land the poison sensitivity well or it didn't stay on there so don't go trying to put poison on because poison sensitivity is not on there so her accuracy should be good enough her crit rate is junk again but so I'm just gonna stop rambling mostly this is a video to help help some of my clan mates realize just how random I am and I'm always struggling trying to figure out gear and who to bring in who not to bring in I got um, I don't know what his name is Robar or whoever that is I've got a few decent folks but none of them ripped off I mean even his he's got a great crit rate he's got great accuracy he's not in lifestyle gear so and I don't have him booked. I don't have the books. I don't see how people can afford the books. So he's not booked. So I'm not going to finish up this. But this is my. Uh, what was I saying? Oh. Um, this is the team I used to use. 
and I'll just show you how bad they do without life steel gear. They can last up to 20, but that's about it. So increase speed on everyone, yay. I usually just land the weaken, and then Razin goes in with his decreased defense. Sometimes that goes resistant and that's annoying. And because um, I need the, no, I don't really need that up yet. And then I wait until he's got more poisons on him. And even though this is worthless, I just go ahead with it because it's damage. Ally, ally attack, send him on in, land some more poisons. And then single, land this junky poison. The 2.5% from toxic is horrible, of course, but whatever. And now I'm to the point where I'm probably going to overflow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine debuffs on there already. I wish that did a little more damage. So who else would land another debuff that I would have to worry about? I got my weaken up there and decreased defense, so that's what I need. I think he might overflow my uh, my turn bar with that. That is a nice ability to have though. Revive on death. Um, and it increases their defense, so it keeps them alive a little bit longer. But I'm already behind the eight ball by not being on more damage. And hit weaken again, even though I don't really need it. Hits hard. Hit that. Hit you. And boom. What I really want to find is um, some champions that don't have wasted abilities or they don't use them. Like, luckily, he doesn't use the attacks all enemies to decrease turn meter on the clan boss anymore. So, that would be a waste. You can't take the uh, turn meter down on the clan boss. So, like, right now, I should have been healed up with lifesteal gear already. Can't do that. I'm gonna put decrease attack on again. So it only lasts for two, even though it would be great if it lasted for three. And boom boom. And see she's not healing at all. She doesn't have life steal gear on. Hit weaken again. I'm just gonna shut up now and keep hitting. I might actually not be doing too bad. My damage is a, lot, a little bit higher than it normally is. So I'm gonna hit auto now. That should be good. And I don't have the first clue on how to video edit. So. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna keep it going. and Again, share this with my clan mates. Maybe they can look at it and get a chuckle. Because they've seen me post in our, our line group a little bit. Bitching and complaining about how much of an idiot I am. Not that she does a lot of damage, but I like the speed increase that she usually puts up there. She'll be dead here in probably about five turns. And so will Razin, actually. Actually, at this rate, I might get up to... 20 million on this, if I can last for 20 turns again.
Sorry, I was looking at my phone. Yep, she did. And normally right here is when Life Steel would have healed up resin. Not gonna happen. Maybe if I'm lucky, I get Light Sword to put his buff on. Yay! So, Razm will pop back up for a small amount more damage. I'm going to get more than I've been getting, but it's still not going to be good. So for some of these guys I have the ability to live up to 20 and beyond, but I just don't have the damage output. And gone. 